another section which is eight kaf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Wala wa antum fi al-masajid. And do not engage in sexual activity when you are in the masjid. Now, another one thing we need to understand here is that when it comes to etikaf for man or woman, it is in the masjid. There is no etikaf at home. Many people, they sit for etikaf in the houses. They make a section for the woman and they sit. It is not allowed. It is not considered as etikaf. Etikaf will be in the masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you make etikaf in the masjid. When we say masjid, it is not musalla. It is not some prayer hall. You have to make etikaf in the masjid. Is it clear? In the masjid. So when we say masjid, technically what is masjid? That masjid which is given in waqf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how are we going to understand whether this masjid is given in waqf? Either by knowing with the certificate, with the papers, or known for the people. Okay. For example, if I own this place, and I make this place as a, a musalla, there is no aitikaf here. There is no tahit al-masjid here. There is no ahkam of masjid here. Am I clear? Am I clear about this? So the masjid should be the masjid, a proper masjid, the jami. You have, that's where you have to perform etikaf. Perform etikaf. Now, how are we going to partake, uh, perform etikaf? What is etikaf? How many days is etikaf? The ulama, they have different opinion on, on this matter. Etikaf is where you seclude yourself. Even if you seclude, you seclude yourself for one hour, it is also considered as etikaf. Even if you go for eighty for a day or night, that is also considered as etikaf. But the sunnah way of etikaf, especially that you do in the Ramadan, it will be last ten nights. Last. Ten nights. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did etikaf entire month as well. The first ten days he did etikaf looking for Laylatul Qadr. Then he did etikaf looking for Laylatul Qadr. Then he found Laylatul Qadr in the last ten nights. So he made etikaf last the entire month. But especially uh, in order to get the Laylatul Qadr, you can make etikaf the last ten days. Okay. Now some people are busy working in the office. They have to go on something. You know, it's not possible for them to sit for the entire days. Can they sit for two days, three days, one day, five, six, seven, eight? Absolutely no problem. Inshallah, it is absolutely accepted it is absolutely accepted so absolutely no problem inshallah ta'ala now when are we supposed to start etikaf you can either go after the budget or you can go one night before that inshallah ta'ala or 21st night absolutely no problem now what are the things that you are supposed to do in etikaf you're not supposed to have sexual activities because sexual activity if you do it then it will break your etikaf you're not supposed to go out of the masjid unnecessarily Unnecessarily, you're not supposed to go out of the masjid unnecessarily. If you go out of the masjid unnecessarily, it breaks the etikaf. It breaks the etikaf. Now, vain talks and all these things, it does not break the etikaf, but it reduces the ajr of the etikaf. Why we do etikaf is, you're doing etikaf with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, securing yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the Quran, recitation, staying away from worldly, worldly activities, the 10 days concentrating to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman, to increase the kurba with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kurba means the, uh, the nearness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we perform etikaf. So now the issue comes here. Um, uh, uh, what if uh, any of my relatives passed away? What am I supposed to do? Can I go out or not? But if you, have in, if you made an intention in the beginning of uh, the etikaf that, you know, if somebody dies in my family, then I will go. You can go and come back. But Anybody else died, you can't go and perform the uh, uh, attend the janaza. Or uh, if somebody is sick, okay, like your father became sick or your mother became sick, your, your close relative became sick, and there is no one to take care of that person except you, then it is obligatory upon you to go there and take care of them because ethic of sunnah. Then after that, you come back again. You come back again. Am I clear about this matter? Now, uh, when you're sitting in the you don't have food to eat. Nobody are giving you food and there is no any way. So somebody is helping you for the food. In this case, you can go have food from the hotel and come back. And you can go take bushel and come back. Nowadays, Alhamdulillah, people give food. In, in, in fact, uh, the kind of food that you don't eat at home, you'll eat in the masjid. <laughs> you eat in the masjid. Every different varieties of food you tell. Alhamdulillah. When I'm sitting in Etikaf, Alhamdulillah, I should get different, different varieties of food and it was different taste and different. So people should not go for it for food, but <laughs> to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But however, if you not, do not have any means of food, then inshallah you go out, you can come back. Especially this happens in the Haram, Muslim Haram in Medina. What happens is, you know, uh, there is no time or place uh, somebody can't give. So in that case, you have to go to the washroom. Washroom is outside the Haram. You can go, relieve yourself, come back. And if you are you if you if you're in the state of Janaba, you had ikhtilam or wet dream, whatever it is, then you can go back to the hotel, take bath and come back. Okay, you can have food and come back this way, which is darura and necessity does not break ethical. But unnecessarily going out breaks 
the eighty cup, inshallah. Another issue the woman is for the woman is that what if a woman gets uh, menstruation in the eighty cup? What is she supposed to do? She has to leave. She has to go back to the house. If she purified, she can come back. She can come back, or it's up to her, inshallah. Absolutely no problem. But if the eighty cup is, but if the eighty cup is the oath that you know, Allah, Allah, I vow that I will sit for etikaf in this masjid for 10 days, and you got what is it? Uh, uh, menstruation. So you go back, okay, purify, and you have to come back. It is wajib. You have to come back. It is wajib. So these are the rules regarding the etikaf, inshallah.